All right, so we have the Seagate Backup Plus portable drive that's not reading. Um, this is a 1.5 terabyte drive, but it shouldn't matter as long as it's one of these smaller SATA drives. So this type of drive has a removable connector here. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but a lot of times these things go bad. So I didn't check yet, <clears throat> but a lot of times uh, you just pop the drive out and you can connect it with another SATA USB adapter and it, it'll work. Um, but we'll see here because when we plug this in, currently it just says the drive isn't readable. They used it on a Mac. And yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're going to pop the drive out of here. And then we're going to connect that with the other adapter and see if that works. All right, so let's try and get into this. So all of these have different designs. So um, let's see if this one comes out the way I'm expecting it to. Okay, this one is pretty tough to remove, so, okay, so here you can see I can get the tool inside, but it doesn't want to pop out easily, so there's the little clips there, all right, I'm going to keep my finger there and see if I can hold that open, and try and pop it out further, okay, you can see more of it is popping out. So I have to keep working my way down, kind of just separating these layers by pulling it apart like this. Okay, and we're just going to keep working our way down. So just like that, here you go. Alright, so we got those two out. Let's work our way around the back. Okay, here you can see it's popping out. And you have to use a strong, thin pry tool to do this. All right, here you can see these clips are all popping out as well. Can work our way around the other side. Again, I'm holding this open, and then we're just prying up. We're prying up this side, basically. Okay, like that, and we're gonna keep going over and pry that up. There we go. Okay, and let's go around the front and see. Are these clips the same in the front? The ones in the front don't want to move. Um, hmm. So I can't really get into that. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. They are prying out exactly the same way. Basically just pulling the plastic forward. So here you can see we got all the clips here. Okay. And basically there's the plastic that sticks out there. So when we pry this out, it basically unclips from here. Okay, so we're going to set that aside now. Let's go ahead and pull this drive out. So usually it's held in with these rubber pieces. So what you do is you just get it close to the table and kind of just twist it like this. And as you can see, it just plops out. Oh, there's one small plastic piece that broke off. All right. Okay, so now that we got the drive out, we can probably get this adapter and it can reach far enough. Let's see. Okay, so we got that plugged in and now let's go ahead and plug this in and see if there's any change or if it's exactly the same. Oh, there were other little plastic pieces, I guess, that came off. All right. So we got it plugged in. It's blinking and it's doing the same thing. Basically, the Mac just says that the drive uh, inserted, the disk inserted is unreadable. So it looks like I'm going to have to use some data recovery software to do this. So um, I have this program called Stella Data Recovery for Mac. I had to buy it. It's pretty expensive. But anyways, <clears throat> that's how a lot of these drives fail is this piece breaks. So if your drive, if your Seagate drive isn't working, and it has this kind of connector inside, the SATA connector. Um, try popping the drive out, get um, another SATA USB adapter and plug that in and see if that'll work. All right, that's the end of that video. Hopefully that video helps some people. I've had like probably 50-50 chance where the drives, it would be this. Um, usually if people dropped it, then it's definitely the hard drive. But if for some reason it just suddenly failed out of nowhere, a lot of times it's this adapter. Um, you could technically just get another one of these drives with the same type of adapter and plug it in and it'll work. So if you don't want to pop it open, you can just buy another one of these drives if you can find one and just swap the thing over. All right. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. All right. Let's drop this bite. 
I forgot, just in case you wanted to see how to put it back together. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Just get that, make sure you line this up right, of course. Drop it straight in, just like that. Get the cover, all right? Just line everything back up and just click it all back into place. And that's pretty much it. It goes back together pretty easily. Make sure these things all line up right. It was kind of a little bit misaligned, but there we go. All right, and that's pretty much it. You can stick that piece back on. All right, thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye.